Hi, I'm John Trainer, the Chief of Infectious Diseases at the University of Rochester Medical Center. It's time for flu shots again this year, and this year's vaccine, whether it's a shot or a spray, will have three components. It'll include the new H1N1 virus that caused the pandemic last year, as well as the H3N2 virus and the influenza B virus. And you only need to get one shot instead of two shots to be protected against the strains of flu we're anticipating might circulate this winter. So one of the great things about flu vaccines is their long and extensive safety record. So we know by looking for side effects in people who have received flu shots or the nasal flu spray, that these are some of the safest and most well-tolerated vaccines that exist today. And we learned a lot more with the pandemic vaccine because it was scrutinized so carefully. And what we found was that there was no suggestion that that new pandemic vaccine was associated with any of the side effects that people were worried about. As a matter of fact, the most concerning one, which was whether we would see Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a paralytic disease that was seen with the swine flu vaccine back in 1976, appears to have occurred at a lower rate in people who were vaccinated than it did in people who weren't vaccinated. Probably the biggest concern that people have or that you'll hear people say is that the flu shot gave me the flu. And really that can't happen. The flu shot doesn't actually contain live flu viruses and so it really can't give you the flu. However, it is true that when we give flu shots, there are a lot of other viruses circulating around, especially the rhinovirus, which causes the common cold. So many people may develop a cold or some other respiratory virus after their flu shot and think they must have gotten a mild case of the flu from the flu shot. But that's really not what it is. The flu shot itself cannot cause the flu. You may have heard the news that a specific kind of flu shot made by a company called CSL was associated with an increased rate of febrile seizures in very young children. And what they found was that for children under the age of five, the ones who received the CSL flu shot, but not other kinds of flu shots, had a slightly increased rate of seizures associated with having a fever. Now in the United States, that vaccine is not going to be used in young children. So if you're a parent and you're taking your child in for their flu shot, you really don't need to worry about that issue of febrile seizures from the CSL vaccine. So one other thing that's going to be a real focus this year is enhancing our efforts to try and make sure that all healthcare workers are vaccinated against the flu. And there's a very important reason for that. Healthcare workers take care of the most vulnerable patients, ones who themselves are not well protected by flu shots. So the best opportunity to prevent the flu in these very debilitated patients is to prevent them from ever being exposed to the flu. And an important component of that is vaccinating healthcare workers so they can't transmit the flu to their patients.